Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom and today we are checking out a brand new Rainbow High Collector doll, a very controversial one at that. I have the brand new Dia de Muertos Maria Garcia collector doll here and there's been a lot of controversy surrounding this doll um, because of the uh, cultural inaccuracies for celebrating Dia de Muertos and I am not personally qualified to speak on that. I've consulted with one of my friends, Dracubella, and they told me that um, they, they kind of explained the situation but please do follow them on um, Instagram and YouTube um, because She's amazing and really helped me out with a, a lot of stuff. So that being said, um, let's go ahead and get into this. Please sound off with your comments down below. I would love to hear your opinions on, on the whole matter and everything like that. But I do wanna review the doll for you, so we're gonna go ahead and check that out. I have this big box here. It doesn't even fit on my table. Look at how big this box is. It is a thick box too. Like this is one of the nicest Rainbow, it is the nicest Rainbow High box that I have ever seen. Um, let me just get it in this way so you can see the whole thing in frame. We do have beautiful marigold on the front and we have some gold ribbon here um, that's basically holding the entire box together. And yes, we are going to open this up. I'm gonna take the doll out and I'm gonna show you everything that it's all about. So we're gonna unbox this together because usually I unbox things off camera but I feel like in this instance, we should definitely unbox it together. Let's take a look at everything though. This is the front of the box, as you can see. Beautiful artwork. I mean, it, it definitely is very well um, done as far as the actual like artwork goes. It looks nice. Um, on the side, you can see that we have uh, kind of a rainbow sheen to it. And we have RH in gold and some beautiful designs at the top and the bottom. And then on the other side here, we have the same exact thing. I love that rainbow sheen to it. I don't know how they did that, but that looks really, really cool. Um, here is the bottom of the box and the barcode there if you wanna screenshot that for yourself to be able to possibly find it in store. It does take, uh, it looks like three AA batteries right here, which it does come with. There's a little battery compartment right there as well. Um, but that being said, uh, the top of the box, not much is going on there and we are going to open this up. So let me see, we have some tape um, on these ribbons here that I definitely should probably cut so that we can uh, get into this properly. I just wanna be very careful because I do wanna preserve the box as good as possible um, because I plan on keeping the box and displaying the doll in the box even though it is uh, gonna be coming out of the box in an official capacity like here. I'm gonna unbox it and give you a review of the actual doll itself. But yeah, like I said, I would love to know from people that are more qualified to speak on this than myself, what you think about this doll, what your opinions are about it, because I know there's been a lot of controversy uh, with the cultural inaccuracies here with the doll. But now that I have all the tape cut off for the ribbon, at least I believe I do. Let's see, yeah. Now that I have all the tape cut off for the ribbon, let's go ahead and undo that ribbon here. And slowly take it off. This is a cool little, uh, little keepsake though. I, I really do like what they've done with this. Okay, we're almost here to presenting the doll itself. Let's go ahead and just check this out real quick. We just have Rainbow High on this little tag right here. And then we have the beautiful Marigold, which uh, is attached to the ribbon and the tag is attached to that. So that's a, just a nice little thing to save there. And I'm so nervous opening this up because it's just like so much happening all at once. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and open the doll right here. I believe it opens from either side. Here we go. There is Maria, and we have some little paper on the side here. Um, these are just some uh, display instructions. Okay, so if we wanna turn on the light, we press a button. There's a button right on the side right there that we can press, and you can see the lighting. Look at that. So it's got kind of like a black light glow to it. There's a black light glow behind her, and it does look really nice. Um, this is, like I said, the nicest rainbow high box that I've ever seen ever. It's one of the nicest doll boxes that I've seen as far as collector dolls go. 
and you can see at the bottom it says uh, Dia de los Muertos um, and uh, wow I mean it definitely looks nice I, I can't say uh, it's hard to say whether or not it's worth the $129 price tag but it's a beautiful looking package Real quick though, on the inside, we do have um, some details here. So we have this beautiful artwork right here. It says Maria Garcia at the bottom. And um, then we have another uh, Dia de los Muertos over on the side. And we have a read up here that is really hard to see, but if you wanna pause the video and read that for yourself, you can go ahead and do so. It looks like it's uh, part of the controversial Instagram um, caption that they posted about her Mexican heritage and everything. So like I said, I'm not qualified to speak on that, um, but I would love to know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. So all that said, let's go ahead and remove the plastic here. We have a very, uh, it's kind of it's kind of sturdy, so you can put this back on. If you take the doll out, you can put this back on and then put the doll back in the box and it should hold up just fine. But I'm gonna set that off to the side here and look at how this is presented. It's very, very well put together, very well presented. And uh, she, she does appear to only come with one outfit. But as I said, I'm gonna take this doll out of the box. Let me go ahead and figure out how to get into this here. I'm gonna do this with you. We can pull this center piece out right here. And then we have just uh, the inside of the box here. On this portion, it says celebration edition. And we have a very long list of, looks like legal mumbo jumbo there. And on the other side, again, we have that same like rainbow sheen. And then here is the back of the entire box right here in case I forgot to show that earlier. Now I definitely wanna show you the safest way to get this out of the box if you'd like to. It looks like there's some tape on the sides here and on the top, which will allow us to get into this back compartment and allow us to um, undo some of the plastic pieces right here, the, uh, the little disposable plastic that's holding her in because I do want to preserve all of this as good as possible. So we're just going to very nicely cut this tape on the sides and on the bottom. Looks like there's a lot of tape everywhere on this thing. But if we're careful, we should have no problem getting this out of the box without destroying the box or anything like that. And it looks like, yeah, we can flip this up and have access to be able to cut this tape. And then once we have that tape cut, um, the entire centerpiece right here will be able to pull out and then we can uh, preserve this box here without damaging anything. I did also wanna point out that the sombrero here is um, tagged down with little plastic ties to the side of the box and the bottom of the box. So you wanna make sure that you just carefully cut those so that we can easily get that out of there without damaging anything that has to do with that. Um, but now we should be able to just lift her out of the package, keeping everything fully intact. I got a little tape that came through there which I can cut off, but we have her out of here. Let me undo all the ties and everything and then we'll take a look at the doll and everything that it has to offer. All right, so I have everything laid out on the table out of the box as you can see. And real quick, before we get into uh, Maria herself, we are going to set her off to the side just so we can take a look at everything else that comes in the box here. Uh, we do have a standard rainbow high stand. Um, this has kind of a gold color to it. And so you can just plop that together and be able to stand her up inside of that box, which we preserve. So that is definitely how I'm going to be uh, displaying her is just on her regular stand inside of the box here. And we also do have my favorite, a rainbow high comb. I love these things. I don't know why, but I absolutely love them. And, uh, and then also, which I've detached from the packaging and from Maria, we have her sombrero here. And so it's a little wavy. I mean, in certain places where it was attached to the box, you might need to like kind of bend it into shape a little bit so that it's not as wavy. You see, we can kind of get it bent into shape. Honestly, this doll is meant to stay in the box. This is one of those dolls where I definitely think you're better off keeping the whole thing in the box. Um, that being said though, let's go ahead and start to take a look at Maria. Like I said, there um, has been a lot of controversy around this and I'm not qualified to 
really directly speak on any of that, but I would love to know your opinions down in the comment section. So as we take a look at everything that Maria has to offer, um, just keep that in mind that I'm not ignoring um, the cultural inaccuracies here, but I do want to review the doll and I would love to know your opinions on the whole thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at Maria. So starting out with her face here, as you can see, uh, one thing that I noticed is there's a slight defect on mine uh, right on the eyebrow there. And that, uh, in my opinion, is not acceptable for a uh, $130 doll. But luckily Walmart has easy returns, so they're already sending me a replacement um, as we speak, and I'm gonna swap out this one. So I just wanted to make you aware, keep an eye out for that, literally, because um, <laughs> it's right above her eye. Uh, but the, the, the face looks absolutely beautiful. I love I love everything about it. Like it's definitely very pretty and um, she does have purple baby hairs here, purple edges at the top that correspond with her hair color, which is purple, which a lot of people uh, had opinions about as well. Uh, we have different colors, purple in here. Um, the rooting does seem very nice. She has a center part, as you can see, um, but the rooting itself is, I think, is pretty good. I was combing through it all. There's no problems with that. Um, she does have this uh, like headband here with these uh, with these roses on it and um, these little gold light beams, I guess. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what exactly call these. Please correct me in the comment section if you know better than me. Um, but this is all clipped to her hair and kind of pinned down to the whole thing. So um, I would definitely recommend leaving that in there if you don't wanna mess with the hairstyle here. But it looks, it looks very pretty. I, I like the appearance of it and it's all very, very well done. These are her earrings right there. And again, somebody can let me know um, in the comment section how to better um, describe these, but they look beautiful in my opinion. And I'm not really sure of exactly the cultural representation that's happening here, but I do wanna give you a nice close up on how those look. Um, but I think that her face looks gorgeous. And I think that, uh, with all that said, I, it's it's definitely a stunning doll in person. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Maria's outfit here. And from what I've been told, this is more of a Spanish flamenco dress um, than it is something that somebody would wear for Dia de Muertos. Uh, again, I'm just going based off of information that I was told from a friend of mine, but um, it it's a nice dress. I mean, I love, we have all this embroidery going on, these roses that are embroidered up at the top. Um, these ones are embroidered fabric that is then uh, fastened to the dress, as you can see at the bottom. Um, she does have this little gold heart right here in the middle, and then another little gold flower with a tiny little gem in it, as you can see. And then we have these um, hand coverings here that are like gold skeleton hands that are um, attached, actually, you can see they're clipped onto her little hands right there um, with these little clips. So they just clip onto the side. So you can take those off if you'd like to. Uh, and underneath that, we do have her uh, skeleton top. Now this is like a full top, a uh, full piece. Um, excuse me, it is like a, a, I believe it goes from head or from sh her shoulders down to uh, about her waist. So we do have that as well. And all of this can easily be undone on the back via Velcro. So we can take that off and there you can see a, a better look at how far down um, that goes. So it does go all the way all the way down to her butt basically. And you could take off this dress and have her um, looking at how she does without it. And um, it, 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 it's pretty cool. I mean, I love the glittery fabric here that we have uh, the on the bones. We have a nice glittery fabric going on here. And all of the details here are very well done. Like it definitely feels very high quality. Now on her other hand here, attached actually via a little rubber band, we have her purse. And let me go ahead and just cut that off so we can take a look at the purse uh, more closely here. And look at that. This is definitely feeling high quality here. And look at the intricate details that we have going on there. A little gem in the forehead. We have a little heart right there. And then we have a metal gold chain that's hanging off there, as well as a little tassel that hangs down off the side that's also attached to the gold chain. And then we have the purse straps up at the top. Now this whole thing does actually pop open so you can place items inside of there if you'd like to. But I do think that this whole purse it's just, it's really beautiful. Now moving down to the bottom of the dress here and 
her boots. Look at these boots right here. Like they look really nice actually. Um, we have like these little metal gold studs all the way down uh, the side of each boot. And then on the front we have this gold um, toe, toe cap, which is not actually metal, it's plastic. And then on the bottom you can see the heels there. Um, but it's definitely made out of a nice faux leather material and it looks very gorgeous. Um, and then obviously you can see underneath the dress here, we do have different layers and we have all this intricate embroidered detail on this with the birds and the flowers. And then we can pull down the other layer here um, to see um, some sequins that are inside of that. And then this next layer here which is looking very beautiful with a lot of detail as well. So this layered dress is very, very pretty, but I feel like they, they do a lot of dress styles like this. So they took some inspiration from some of their other dress styles. Though, like I said, I'm not discounting the cultural inaccuracies here and the controversy and the complaints that people have about this doll, but I am just showing you all of the details involved with the dress and the layers here. But I think that, uh, I mean, as a doll in general, She's very beautiful, like she's got a lot going on and I really do think that this is a gorgeous looking doll. So with all that said, there's really not much else to take a look at with her, but let me go ahead and get this back in the main box and I'll show you how that looks when she's set up on the stand in the main box so you can see everything put together again. Okay, so if you wanted to display her like this in the box after you've already unboxed it, you can easily do so as you can see and it still looks absolutely beautiful. Let me turn on the lights here. I know they're kind of harder to see because I have a lot of bright lights in the studio here, but you kind of get the point and oh my gosh, hold on, let me just, turn off a couple of these lights so I can show you what that looks like. All right, I got some of my main lights turned off so you can see how the light behind her looks in general. It's got kind of a black light look to it. I'm not sure if it's an actual black light LED, but it actually looks beautiful. Uh, and it does have a little time sensor on it, so you can easily go ahead and uh, press the button on the side there. And I believe it might have a little light sensor here as well, or a, or a sensor so that when you take off the cover, it, uh, it turns itself on, but we do have a little button on the side here that you can press just to easily be able to turn it on and off as you please. I did also want to mention um, that the light pulses very slowly, if you can see that dimming, and then it brights back up a little bit. It does have a little pulsing effect to it, which I thought was pretty cool. Okay, so all that being said, I would love to know what you think about this new Dia de Muertos Maria Garcia collector doll. I know there's a lot of comments that are gonna be pouring in down there, so please let me know your thoughts and opinions down in that comment section below. And I really do appreciate you just spending a little bit of time with me here today as we unbox this new collector's doll and take a look at everything. And I'm curious to know all of your thoughts and opinions, like I said, but thank you so much. It means the world to me that you would just spend a little bit of time with me here today. Um, let me know your thoughts and everything. And if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. And also follow me on Instagram because lots of fun stuff is happening over there and I'll be posting some pictures of Maria as well. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Once again, this has been Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom and I'll see you later. Bye.